cannot believe I just dropped my phone. <laughs> One of my friends on Marco Polo, you know, because everyone's like, what's wrong with your face? I'm like, I wish I had a cool story, but I was laying down because it was like one o'clock in the morning getting back to all my Marco Polos and I dropped the phone on my face. Yeah. And she's like, maybe you and your phone should break up. We got up at 2.30, well, really 2.50 because we hit snooze. I hit snooze a few times. We're at the airport in Florence which we flew into Rome, so I have no clue where we are. And I am told my mom, it's gate, what did I say, E3? E3, she's like, you know how far that is? I think she thinks that I'm clairvoyant or a magician and I just secretly know things. I'm like, mom, I don't know. I've never been here. Um, but we're standing in this long ass line to check all of our luggage. But I'll tell you, this cart is amazing. So we had the most crazy driving experiences of any trip that I've ever been on internationally, which is a lot of them. And last night, I thought we were going to die, for real. And the night before, but the night before we thought was bad. The girl just wasn't familiar with the little bitty roads in wine town, country town, whatever it's called in Tuscany and Arezzo. But she was so sweet and she spoke English pretty well. But our driver last night on a totally different level, he and the lady who was amazing, who was coordinating all the transportation of all the speakers and all the guests, um, Okay, first off, let me back up. This town only has 15 taxi drivers and 15 taxis. And they do have several Mercedes vans. I don't know where those came from. Maybe they like brought them in on a ship or something. But the conference was amazing. The people were amazing. I met so many amazing people and properties, which I'm gonna get to do work with, which is so cool. But the town and the city, they got some learning to do in terms of just larger luxury weddings. He picked us up from the airport and, uh, and he picked us up this morning at 3.30 a.m. And he was on time and he loaded our luggage and he was polite and like why can't everyone just be polite? Like the driver last night, I just, I can't even tell you. Like he took us to the wrong address first off. And I'm like, do you know where you're going? He spoke zero English. So I've never been talking to Siri so quickly. Hey Siri, how do you say it? You're going the wrong way. Here's the address in Italian. And then he's like, no, no. And I'm like, yes, yes. And so then he, and my mom's like, I'm scared. Are we gonna die? Is he, is he taking us somewhere that, like what's happening? And so then he's calling the lady that told him where to take us. And you know, they're all speaking Italian. I don't speak Italian. And um, then she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm assuming this is what she said. Like, I'm so sorry. I told you the wrong place. It is this other place. Well, at this point, I'd already put it in my GPS. Thank God I had cell service over here. My mom tried to go to Cricket and get cell phone service. They lied to her. Cricket doesn't have international service. It works in Mexico and maybe Canada, but not freaking Italy. You gotta get your money back for that, by the way. What? You gotta get your money back. I just can't even explain to you how bad. So then, he locked my window because I was sitting in the back. I mean, I was too afraid to like sit up front because he was like screaming at the lady that got our taxi. We could have waited on the shuttle, but we like wanted to go back to the hotel and pack because it was already like 11.30. And so, and we had to leave so early this morning for the airport. And then I don't know what she said to him over the phone, but, cause we were on Bluetooth. Um, but he was like bipolar, like he totally flipped his switch and he's like, oh, 
okay. And I like put, you know, it was already in my GPS. And we were like 10 minutes from the venue because when we got there and went there, it was like 10 minutes away. We had a lovely driver on the way there and so patient. So, but then getting home last night, I was just like, oh dear God, please don't let me die in Italy. And my mom was just, bless her heart, so scared. So we're almost to the front of the line to check in our luggage. And I gotta make it to this EO all member experience. We made it back to Nashville. It's 425. What am I going here looking for? It's something for you. Neosporin, Neosporin. headed to the all member meeting. And look, little thing, the little Italy dome from Villa San Michelle made it back without smashing, but the glass nail file broke. <laughs> and then the little pottery thing made it back in one piece. I don't know, hopefully nothing broke. We are so happy to be back in the United States. Okay, so made it to the all member meeting for EO. Fueling the entrepreneur engine. Oh my God, I haven't washed my hair in 12 days? I think it's a record. It's disgusting. Let me show you. I was told, for one, you're never supposed to make judgments or assumptions ever. Stay tuned. It's gonna be lit. <laughs> so is going to let us, in, let us know briefly why you stay in EO for so long. <laughs> or you could just do a high jump. There you go. Thank you. a wrap the all member experience went awesome and all the members that participated in booths really really enjoyed it and it was so much amazing energy to see what we all do as entrepreneurs because our chapter has grown so much to over 240 people we just don't know everybody we didn't have a booth. My team totally killed it and helped the EO team set up and load in for the past two days while I was traveling home from the exotic wedding planning conference in Italy and Arezzo and Tuscany and man, I have a lot of stories, a lot of stories. I'm headed to pick up my babies, my dogs, and I cannot wait to see them. But I can't even talk right. I've been up for like 40 hours.